I'm Kerry, I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory and I work with the most powerful lasers in the world to superheat material until we drive it into what we call the fourth state of matter, it's what we call plasma. And I, well, I'm inspired by the work that I, I'm involved in with these powerful lasers. I mean, these plasmas that I talk about, they can get to millions of degrees Celsius, so they are extremely hot. So it's the extreme physics part that I'm really inspired by. The plasma physics, or the reason that we do the science, is that we are trying to create new technologies. There's two words there, the creative bit, the technology bit. That, to me, is the inspiring part of the job, that we are trying to create new things to improve our future, fundamentally. Actually, the hardest part of my job normally is taking that idea that a theoretical physicist has come up with, this beautiful mathematical formula, and then designing an experiment to test that bit of physics. Sometimes you set up an experiment and it just doesn't work. You just don't see what the theoretical physicists are telling you you should see. And that can be frustrating sometimes when the experiment doesn't produce what you predict. Now that can be interesting, but it means that the whole process can be quite long and drawn out. And so it could be years until you actually really discover something really, really important, which is why research, especially when you're fundamentally trying to push back the knowledge frontier that we have, you're creating new knowledge, that can be a slow and tedious process sometimes. So you need a bit of patience to be a physicist. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's an interesting profession to be in, being a physicist. It's, an, it's a really interesting job, but actually in terms of the opportunities it opens up, I mean, it really does mean that your career can go in so many different paths. And that's actually why a lot of the reason I get involved in Science Girl is to show what it means to be a physicist. What does my daily life look like? What do I actually do as a job? Just so that perhaps a few more women will stick with physics past the GCSE, stick with the A-level physics and see where it takes you because that's, for me, that's the shame of why there are, why there are so few women in, 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 in physics, is I think it's a shame that they're missing out on all of the opportunities that you could get by sticking with science and sticking with physics.